Sid and today I'm doing a warp Tour survival guide. The reason I'm doing this is because last year is my first year and I must have looked at everyone on YouTube like I didn't know what to expect or what do I bring, what do I do, do I just come, do I bring a backpack, what. So I'm filming this for you first time warp Tours or you're, it's your 40th warp Tour and you just need a little reminder. So first I'm going to talk about what to do the night before. I recommend packing your bag the night before because next morning you're going to be up early in a rush, super excited and you're going to forget stuff. So last year I took this bag, well I got it there but I took one like a string backpack it. One compartment and it closes. So we're going to pack this. Now the first thing, your ticket. No matter what, you pack your ticket first. It would suck to get to the venue. Oh, I left my ticket on the counter. Time to go home. Okay, so first your ticket. Then your wallet. Wallet. Mine's made out of duct tape. Not really fancy. Has some money in here. Make sure you bring money. Food's expensive. Water's expensive. And there's going to be merch you'd probably like to buy. So I just recommend you bring money and your wallet. So put that into the bag. And then my second concern was, what if my phone dies when I'm taking pictures? What if I get split from my group and my phone dies? That's where this comes in. It's one of those weird portable chargers. You plug it in here and plug it into your phone. It charges your phone. This is a lifesaver. This is your world. You don't want to forget this day. And that would mean taking pictures and videos to remember it. So don't forget this, so we'll put that in the bag. Next, well, I'm very white as you all can see. Sunscreen. SPF 110 kids because I will be as red as this hat if I don't put on sunscreen. So I do it before you leave, before you go into the venue, and then throughout the day because you don't want to have this great day and then the next day be like, ah, sunburn. So, yeah. Ugh, sunscreen. And you know, guys and girls trying to get at people, want to smell good, trying to get at them band members, be like, hey, you don't want to smell like sweaty, disgusting nastiness. So deodorant. For everyone, everyone needs some deodorant. Boys and girls, if you were, you know, girl clone or guy clone. Clone, you know, just uh, freshen up, just, no. Yeah, so clone, you want that in the bag. Ooh, girls, you want some perfume, you know. Snap, snap, never know when you're going to see a hot band member and be like, hey. So, I'm a germ freak. So, hand sanitizer. I live for hand sanitizer. It just makes everything go smoother. Because you're touching band members' hands, they've touched thousands of other hands. You just, you don't want to be the one to spread the diseases. Also, sunburnt lips, SPF 15. Blistex, powered by Blistex. Just kidding. But chapstick, don't want chap lips. Okay, so those are the like necessities. Oh, actually, the necessity right here. This is all you need. Without this, you will die. It's like if you don't drink water, you will die. You need water. Warp tour, it's hot. At my warp tour in Pomona, it was 104. Water was my best friend. They have refill up stations so you can refill your waters and stuff like that. So just bring a close sealed bottle of water. This one's been opened, but I can't open it because of the hand sanitizer. But and then you have a water bottle all day, go to the station, fill it up. It's not always cold. Like in the morning it was cold for us, but by the afternoon it was hot. But water is water. You don't want to be that person who passes out within two hours and then you miss your favorite band set. 
So put that in the bag. And a tasty snack because food's expensive at Warped Tour. This is actually really ugly. But so tasty snack just to bring them to the venue because you're going to get hungry. I think at most venues they allow you to pack sandwiches and stuff, just no coolers. And I just recommend you bring snacks because you don't want to pay $50 billion for an orange when you can get it from your house for like three. Okay, since Warped Tour is so expensive, I recommend bringing a notebook. That's chemistry. That's my chemistry homework. I think. Yeah, that's chemistry. But just any notebook will do. Um, might want a new one. That way, you can have people sign it. Me, band members, they, you know, can scribble signature. Um, and you can write down your set, the set time, so you don't have to pay to get it. So pretty much what that means is you go to this giant bowl. Of So you go to the giant book, and you can just write it down right here. Girls write it on their arms and stuff, but by the time you're sweaty, it smears, and you just got like a black arm. So I recommend you do that. Notebooks are just great to have. That way if you get a poster, you can set it in here, or a picture, you can just put it in here, and you know, keeps it from getting all... So, notebook. And this... This will make or break your Warped Tour experience. Sharpie. So, the band members walk around Warped Tour, but not many of them carry around pins in their pockets. So if you are able to pull out a Sharpie and be like, can you sign this, can you sign this, they're going to be able to sign it. Sharpie. It's great. Any permanent marker will work. Like, I have this metallic marker that would work. I have another marker over there that would work. Just bring these. They're... They're the best. So, for what, that's what you should bring. Um, you can bring other stuff like an extra shirt or body paint. I don't know if they let body paint in. Um, girls, there's no need to touch up your makeup throughout the day. You're there to have fun. Everyone else doesn't give two fucks what you look like. We're all there to see bands. Oh, ladies and guys with long hair. Your best friend the hair tie. It's going to get hot having your hair done. You're going to want to be able to just pull it up and get it out of your face. So I recommend that you bring hair ties. I always have two because never know when one's going to break or when your pal's going to need one. To wear at work tour. Honestly, a regular t-shirt. Preferably not black, like red. Basketball shorts, jean shorts, booty shorts, swim shorts, whatever, you know. Girls, you want to wear a bikini if you're comfortable with that, you rock the bikini. Um, just t-shirts or tank tops, shorts, shoes though. I see girls wearing shoes like this. Flip flops. No. High heels? No. And I don't know if this needs to be said, but slippers. No. I recommend either some athletic shoes, comfortable inside, you know, that you really enjoy, or it's Vans. It's the Vans Warp Tour. Wear a pair of Vans. I prefer the no laces because then I don't have to worry about it becoming untied and me tripping while in the pit. But, so those are two good pair of shoes to wear. Now, if I see you, being the kid, like this, long sleeve shirt, sweatshirt, jeans, not drinking water, and you pass out. We're not friends. I'm sorry, we can't be friends. I have hat hair. Um, beanies. No, they are not needed. It is summertime. You can wear them when you go to, I don't care. But not when you're at Warp Tour. It's hotter than a mofo. No beanies. You can wear some, you know? I don't care if you wear no hat. Snap back forward. Snap back backwards. Or you even wear a large hat like this. Like if you don't like the sun and you wear this, you're awesome, you know? Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, up, up. You know? It's just whatever. Like look, 
there's no no sun coming on my face it's pretty stylish and it's just gonna keep the sun off you but don't be the kid wearing a beanie be the kid wearing this hat look how stylish it's almost like a sombrero it was like so wear this hat. Be that kid. Be the kid that's wild and rambunctious and wears this sick hat. The night before Warp Tour, you need to go to bed early. Like, honestly, I went to bed at like 7 and woke up at 4. Got to the venue early. I was 4th in line. So, trust me, it's 100% worth it to go early. Um... If you take canned goods, you're able to get a uh, skip the line pass, but you still want to kind of be in the front of the line to get the skip the line pass so it's not a waste. Honestly, just make sure you have fun. Don't go with people who are going to be like, I want to leave early. Don't go with people who are only going because, oh, it's a cool thing to do. Go with people who like the music. Oh, also, fun fact. You can take the posters off the fences and stuff. Woohoo! I was really excited because I got like eight posters. So just make sure you have fun. Go to booths. Ask who's signing that day. Ask about signings. Like, hey, how do I get signings with this person? How do I do this? Talk to people. I made I made friends at Warp Tour. I text them still. It's it's awesome being friends with people who like the same music as you. Any questions about Warp Tour, you can comment below. I usually check YouTube. If I'm at school, like, all day I'm on it. But if I'm at home, I check it, like, four or five times a day. So it just depends. You can also kick me. I'll put my kick below. You can follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Tweet me. Anything you want, I can answer about Warp Tour, or I'll try. That are going, have a great first Warp Tour. If you're going to Pomona, comment below. And so just comment below, share this.